Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa today issued edicts 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 for this year. According to Edict 23 of 2017, the head of Bahrain's diplomatic mission to Algeria, extraordinary and plenipotentiary ambassador Hamad Mohammed Al Asfour was transferred to the General Court of the Foreign Affairs Ministry. Under Edict 24, Ahmed Yusuf Hussein Abdul Malik was appointed as Director of Water Distribution at the Electricity and Water Authority. According to Edict 25, Libna Abdul Aziz Al Musa was appointed as Notarization Director at the Ministry of Just Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments. Edict 23 stipulates the appointment of Muna Kazim Jafar Al Alawi as Standards and Meteorology Director at the Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. According to Edict 27, Isa Ali Abdullah Isa was appointed as Topographic Survey Director at the Survey and Land Registration Bureau. Under Edict 28, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa was appointed as Director of Antiquities and Museums and Huda Abdul Ghaffar Al Alawi as Director of Communication and Promotion at the Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities. According to Edict 29, Wafa Abdurrahman Al Mansouri was appointed as Director of Higher Education Reviews, Wafa Salim Al Yagoubi as Director of National Examinations, and Asma Jafar Akbar as Director of Academic Cooperation and Coordination at the Education and Training Quality Authority. Under Edict 30 of 2017, Sheikh Ahmed bin Isa Al Khalifa was appointed as Director of Human and Financial Resources and as Sharif Faisal Jamil Nasr Al Aoun as Director of Projects and Investments at the Urban Planning and Development Authority. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and at the initiative of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Government Forum 2017 will be held tomorrow. Participating in the forum will be a number of Deputy Prime Ministers, Ministers, Executive Leaders and Senior Officials from various government bodies. The forum, which was held for the first time last year, reflects the comprehensive vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to further develop all sectors in the kingdom, especially those related to the development of services provided to the citizens. It will include a review of the 2015-2018 Government Action Plan, as well as the policies and procedures of various government bodies. It will also feature a number of discussion sessions regarding various issues. The Government Forum 2017 will be held on Sunday under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The second edition of the Forum comes a year after the success of the first. This initiative aims to bring together the highest level of government across different executive and legislative sectors to shed light on effective strategic development plans that would upgrade government action and boost performance. The forum, which is held in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, is a reflection of the government's approach towards achieving development within the framework of Economic Vision 2030 and the values it represents, including sustainability, competitiveness and justice. The event is a major step forward on the path of comprehensive and sustainable development and a pioneering government initiative to boost the level of government services to match the expectations of the government action plan. This high-level government gathering also aims to evaluate government performance in line with His Majesty the King's development plan. It emphasizes the keenness of the wise leadership to accelerate the wheel of production and reform, this by unifying visions while exchanging ideas and experiences to strengthen the one-team spirit across different lines of government. The forum emanates from a clear understanding of the needs of all stakeholders and citizens of Bahrain. It is a significant podium to motivate various actors in government to capitalize on opportunities to improve performance in order to achieve the goals set by the government and achieve high satisfaction with the provision of public services. The Government Forum 2017 is an important opportunity for decision makers to gather in a single platform to explore a future towards government excellence. Reporting for Bahrain Television News, this is Mohammed Shaban. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed this week with 23,627,843 shares worth 5,817,570 Bahraini dinars conducted through 661 transactions. Investors traded in 20 companies, 6 witnessed the rise in shares, 9 fell and the rest maintained their shares. The investment was the leading sector and the commercial bank came in second.
Energy Minister Dr. Abdel Hussein Mirza received G German Ambassador Alfred Sims Prods and Chairman of the Bahraini German C Business Council Brent Hofer, along with senior officials. He praised the development of the bilateral relations and the efforts of the Bahrain German Business Council to attract German businessmen and investments to contribute to the economic development of Bahrain. The minister reviewed Bahrain's plan in the field of renewable energy, especially solar energy. The ambassador and chairman of the Bahrain German Business expressed thanks to the minister and stressed their readiness to further enhance relations between the two countries. Bahrain signed an agreement to be allocated a pavilion at the Dubai Expo 2020 signed by Bahrain Authority for Culture and Antiquities President Sheikh Hamai bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa. Following the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Bahrain first took part in Shanghai 2010 Expo before clinching the silver prize at Milan 2015 Expo, topping 50 other national pavilions. Sheikh Hamai pointed out BACA's efforts to ensure their participation to reveal Bahrain's bright image and promotion investment potential in the sectors of culture and tourism.